Will my games work on the Steam Deck? That's a question some people have been asking. Now, if you haven't caught up on the news yet or haven't watched any of my many, many videos about the Steam Deck, you might not be aware of the fact that the Deck will not come with Windows pre-installed. Rather, the Steam Deck will ship with Valve's custom version of Linux called SteamOS. You might be worried about game compatibility, that some of the games in your Steam library won't work with SteamOS. So let's go over what will and what may not work on the Steam Deck. But first a word from our sponsor, Micro Center. If it isn't already, Micro Center should be your first stop for all things tech. Whether it's electronics, computers, PC components, networking, or communication devices, Micro Center has over 30,000 items in stock. Whether online or in-store, you'll be hard-pressed to beat their prices, too. And Micro Center's team of friendly and knowledgeable associates have the skills it takes to help you complete any PC or electronics project. As schools and businesses have shifted away from in-person meetings and become more online oriented, Micro Center is the only place you need to stop to find webcams and microphones, networking gear, upgrades for your computer, and more. Plus, with Micro Center's new online community, you can tap into the expertise of like-minded enthusiasts just like you. Right now, Micro Center is offering new customers a free SSD. That's right, get a free 240GB SSD and find out how using my link in the description. Limitations apply. Valid in-store only, limit one coupon per customer. And thank you to Micro Center for sponsoring this video. Let's talk about what the Steam Deck actually is. The Steam Deck is a handheld PC created by Valve Corporation, the company behind a massive hit series including Half-Life, Portal, Left 4 Dead, and many more. It's similar in form factor to the Nintendo Switch, albeit a bit larger, heavier, and having touchpads on the front, plus four extra buttons on the back. The Steam Deck also has a built-in gyroscope, making first-person shooters and other games that require high precision easier to play with its built-in controllers. Now, the Steam Deck has three different models, all identical except for the storage. The base model has 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage, while the mid and high tiers offer 256 and 512 gigabytes of NVMe storage, respectively. The difference with the Steam Deck, however, is that it's designed to run PC games rather than the games offered on the Nintendo Switch. Now, users are free to do whatever they want with their Steam Deck. They can install a different operating system, including Windows. But even without Windows, they have access to just about all of their games on Steam. And if they wanted to, they could also add the Epic Game Store, Origin, or other launchers so that they have access to games outside of Steam as well. So the question is, if all that's true, then what are people worried about? Well, the Steam Deck, like I mentioned, is pre-installed with SteamOS 3.0. It's a custom Linux-based distribution that is heavily integrated with Steam. At first boot, it launches into a revamped UI set to replace Steam Big Picture Mode. Now, if you're not familiar with Big Picture Mode, it was an interface for Steam that was designed for Steam games to be played in the living room. The Steam Deck UI is set to replace Big Picture Mode, letting you select, install, and play your games with a gamepad and never having to touch a keyboard or mouse in a sleek new fit and finish for for any form factor. The problem, however, is that Linux is not Windows. Most of the games that are built for PC are specifically made to run using Windows APIs and system calls. They're not going to run on Linux without the help of a compatibility layer. And personally, I think that Valve's been planning for this moment since back in 2018. See, back in 2018, Valve created Proton. It's a collection of tools that are needed to run Windows software and games on Linux. Now, if you're a Linux gamer like I am, you've already used Proton. And because of Proton, many games that wouldn't otherwise be available for Linux are available for us to play. However, some games don't play nicely. For example, Apex Legends, Halo Infinite, Fortnite, and PUBG. They don't work on Linux. Most of the time, this is because of anti-cheat software that's been incorporated into the game, which breaks compatibility with Proton. Other times, a title might include certain DirectX 12 features or DRM that Proton doesn't support. So the sad reality is that there's a non-zero chance of one of your favorite games not running on the Steam Deck. And you might be asking yourself, how does Proton translate Windows games into Linux? Well, Proton is a customized version of a Windows compatibility tool called Wine. If you're a Linux or Mac user, you might already be familiar with it. But for those not in the know, Wine is open source software that's been in development since 1993. It provides Windows system calls, think things like DirectX, on a Linux OS, which doesn't have DirectX natively. This is different than emulation, since your PC is still your PC, running PC hardware, and doesn't have to emulate the behavior of another type of CPU. 
It's really interesting to note that in many instances, games running through Proton perform better than if they were running on Windows natively. But Proton is not only Wine. It's been modified by Valve to be game specific, and it also has been combined with several other compatibility projects, including DirectX to Vulkan and Vulkan Direct 3D. These tools translate DirectX API calls, which is what most Windows games use, into APIs that Linux can understand. And with DXVK and VKD3D, they translate the API calls from Windows into Vulkan. Vulkan is a low level and highly performant graphics pipeline that can almost universally be beat the pants off of any DirectX application. Now, on the Steam for Linux client and on the Steam Deck, Proton is provided by default. For now, enabling it is as simple as going into Steam's settings, ticking the appropriate box, and then restarting Steam. Then you can install whatever apps you'd like on Linux. However, the Steam Verified program, which we'll talk about in a minute, should make this step obsolete. And honestly, at this point, Proton provides a better, faster, and more stable Windows API target than even native Windows does. So now that you have a basic understanding of what Proton is, let's talk about what types of games will and won't work. Now, Proton has evolved rapidly since its conception in 2018. Games that couldn't run back then would eventually work later on. For instance, for a while, Street Fighter V wouldn't work, but with the advent of Proton 5.0-7 in April of 2020, the game now runs flawlessly. Another example is Dirt 5. For four months, this game couldn't run on Linux through Proton, but after an update to VKD3D, which is part of the Proton toolset, the game became playable. And with the evolution of Proton comes today, where Val Valve has the Steam Deck Verified initiative. Basically, verified games are Valve's stamp of approval that the game will work great on the Steam Deck. You won't have to worry about game compatibility issues, you won't have to worry about the aspect ratio not being correct, or in-game text being too small to read. As of February 5th, over 250 titles have been tested on the deck and have either been given the verified status or the playable status. 138 titles are verified, including Sony's own God of War, and 113 are now playable. Now, playable means that in-game button prompts might not match your controller, on-screen text might be too small to read for the Steam Deck screen, or other minor annoyances, but at least the game runs. Looking for the Steam Deck verified symbol while browsing through your Steam library will help a lot in determining what games will run great, run with a few hiccups, haven't been tested, or just won't run at all. But as much progress as Proton has made, there are a few oddball titles that just won't work. Now these games typically have anti-cheat software that the developer hasn't enabled support for. The games might also have certain DirectX 12 features that Proton doesn't support yet, for example, Halo Infinite. Or they might use a certain type of DRM that Proton doesn't play nicely with. Other examples of games that just won't run yet on Proton include PUBG, Apex Legends, multiplayer with Halo the Master Chief Collection, and Knockout City. But you might notice a, a bit of a trend here. It's mostly multiplayer. Easy Anti-Cheat is an anti-cheat technology owned by Epic Games. This is a very common method to deploy anti-cheat measures for multiplayer games on PC. BattleEye is another popular anti-cheat software mechanism. And it used to be that if a game had either of these middleware solutions, it would simply just not run on Linux with, through Proton at all. However, thanks to Valve's announcement of the Steam Deck and their public and private cajoling, these middleware vendors now officially support Proton and native Linux titles as well. Epic announced EAC compatibility with Proton back in September. Unfortunately, however, any game that implemented a, uh, Easy Anti-Cheat would have to have used Epic Online Services in order to enable compatibility. According to the developer of Warhammer Vermintide 2, most existing games that have EAC are using the non-EOS version of EAC and using the EOS version would apparently require a massive rewrite of the EAC implementation. Thankfully, Easy Anti-Cheat support became even easier as of late January 2022. Since this announcement has only been made a few weeks ago, as of the time of recording, we have yet to see if this will actually make the lives of developers easier, but this is great news for the Steam Deck. As for BattleEye, enabling support for this through Proton is as simple as sending the BattleEye support team an email. Some games are already supported, including Arma 3, Ark Survival Evolved, DayZ, and more. And as the months go by, we will likely see a massive increase for BattleEye-based games running on Valve's compatibility layer. So what have we learned today in this video? Well, as of recording, we're just a few weeks out from the official launch of the Steam Deck. And honestly, the only reason games won't work on the Steam Deck is because the game developer has chosen to not support it. So whether we'll see Apex Legends or Fortnite or PUBG is largely up to the developers at this point. 
If you mostly play multiplayer games with EAC, you have good cause for concern. But if you're a single player gamer, you have nothing to worry about. Most of your games will just work on the deck and that's the way it should be. Or if you decide to make the switch to desktop Linux, it should work there as well. But I'd like to know what you think. Let me know in the comments why some developers have chosen not to support the Steam Deck. Do you think the Steam Deck's inevitable popularity will end up forcing other developers to make the switch? Let us know in the comments. I think that's gonna do it for this video though. Thank you so much for watching. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you wanna help this show grow, you can join the 100 plus other Linux warriors with the links below to pledge your monthly support. That's gonna do it for now though. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one.